Um, hey everyone, this is uh, Jonas here with another video. Um, my s so we were uh, so we're doing so my teacher made me do a science project where I had to do an analogy for um, a cell, give an analogy for it with some something in real life. I mean, not real life, but something that we um, something that. Uh, just something we have to give it an analogy so it shows that we understand what a cell is so I chose Minecraft bases and I was just like hey what if I do a YouTube video on this since it's gaming so that's what I'm doing so science class hello you're watching this right now anyone else who's on YouTube hello you're also watching this right now it's time for us to go do some things with cell this is my stepmom she's playing the prisoner woman person and then this is my secretary elf being played by my dad. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right, let's let's go. Mm -hmm. oh, you couldn't tell. We just made it a giant complete circle. Um, so as you can see, that if uh, someone tries to break in with their iron pickaxe. It's not going to work. Oh, <laughs> that's not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so if they try to break in with an iron pickaxe, it won't work. And they're about to try to break in with an iron pickaxe because they're a very bad person. <laughs> no. They don't know how to break in correctly because they're breaking in the wrong way. But try they what they should be doing is trying to break in through the wall, huh? <laughs> the the purple wall. What they should be trying to break into if they want to get to my stuff. I almost feel bad for this person because they don't know how to break into places. See, as you can see, that doesn't work. But when you uh, when they use the diamond one. That then they can break in very easily. See, that look at them destroying my entire base. Okay, quit going crazy. You just broke through the wall. Um, uh, but if they try to spawn any blazes, if they get through and they fulfill their master plan of trying to spawn blazes inside to burn up all my stuff, it won't work. Because see, when the blaze goes through, it just sinks to the bottom and dies. Quite like a cell membrane and a cell wall, these are. Because the cell membrane doesn't let certain things through, like blazes. And the cell wall, it uh, protects the outer cell from a lot of things. Because it's very strong. Okay, bad person, go over to your... Uh, not that. That's an experiment I'm working on. Go over there to your uh, your ruined base. What even is that? You, you failed at making bases. Come on, stay, stay over there. Thank you. Like on there. Okay. So I'm gonna walk over here, and secretary should probably follow me, cause you know secretary, being a good secretary and all, I need I need him, I need him near me. Hello, secretary. Wow, you're very fast for a secretary. All right, come on, let's, let's go. I'm not saying secretaries are slow. Secretaries are actually pretty fast, but you're even you're even fast for a secretary. All right. So here's a ribosome. It's a chicken. It's a nice little chicken. Creates these eggs called protein. These eggs called protein. And so yeah, it's it's the ribosome, and this is the endoplasmic reticulum, obviously, and it's re in relation to a chicken farm. Um, so yeah, chicken farms are kind of like that because they create eggs, just like they create protein. All right. Uh, DNA chromosomes. They're kind of like um, they are. They're kind of like, you know, the directions. See, this DNA right here, I give this to my secretary. The paper says, make me a sandwich, just trust me, it does. I, I'm not going to show you, though. The secretary gets it, and he's just like, okay, I'm going to make him a sandwich with bread and pork chop. <laughs> I'm going to make him a sandwich with bread and pork chop, or it's going to come out of my pay. All right, so the note doesn't work all the time if the cell decides not to listen. 
Oh, no, oh, now, now they're doing it. Cook pork chop and bread. Thank you. I don't need the, all right, fish, fish is good. All right, fish. I'm over here, uh, sec secretary, do you need glasses? I'm gonna do some glasses. Have, have some glasses. You need glasses, you're not, you don't see correctly. Yum, 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 thanks for the sandwich, secretary. Okay, so the nucleolus is like the directions on increasing protein, so I open this up. Increase production. Alright, so that's what this tells. It tells me how to increase or decrease production of protein. It like carries this. I love your new glasses. They don't look interesting or off at all. Not like they don't fit you or anything. Not like they're meant for people with large foreheads. But yes, so we need to increase production, so what I'm going to do is I am going to okay. I'm going to increase production of the ribosomes. So let me just do that and now we got two ribosomes. Look at that. Look at how cute they are together. This is adorable. Oh, it's a little couple of ribosomes. Ribosome chickens. Making making protein for me. They're both females. Never mind. How are they making eggs? Alright, never mind. So this is the nucleus and the nuclear membrane. It's very nuclear and very membrane. It's kind of like the cell membrane, and it because um, it protects the cell sort of. And this nuclear membrane really we we need it on the nucleus as well because the nucleus is super important because it gives all the directions. Also, I might want to add that the cell wall is only for plants. I forgot to add that part. So yes, now we go to the uh, lysosome place. Um, little, whoa, whoa, what, how did that even get there? Secretary, have you been using magic? Did you just like make that appear out of nowhere? You know how I feel about green wolf. It's the most ugliest color. It's the most ugliest color of wolf. Let's get rid of that. So what the lysosome does is it gets rid of uh, garbage, like the ugly wool color that your secretary used. And it reveals the lovely pink heart we saw earlier before secretary used his green wool magic that looks like love. Is that necessary? Can you secretary, stop throwing your ugly wool everywhere. Secretary? Okay. Okay, thanks. Th thanks for that. All right. Next, we gotta go to the um, Golgi bodies, or the, the the donkey. It carries all of our protein, just like a Golgi body. See, it carries all of our eggs production from over there, from the the, the the green thing, the endoplasmic reticulum hallway with the ribosomes, the chicken farms. Carries all the eggs. We can deliver it all over the cell if we need to, just like now. And this donkey will not have any problems this time, right, donkey? Because we definitely did this in one take and not like 30 hundred. Um, so I've just, as you can see here, I've just messed up this entire thing by moving the donkey over here. But that's okay. Donkey, you be free over there. We don't need the gold bodies. But yeah, that's basically what the gold bodies do. Alright, so come along, secretary. You must uh, find the vacuum. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to get some lovely water. It's very good to drink. Secretary, do you want some water? I have some leftover. Sec. Sec. Alright, Secretary. So, so strange. Alright. So here is what used to be the, um, the room where we blew up glucose sugar, but you know what, we can, we can recreate that. So the, what you do is you place the glucose sugar down, down here. And then you just take, you just take your good old mitochondria apart, you just blow it up. What that does is it harnesses the power of these three elements, just like there's three elements 
and it's harnessing her energy with um, when you use glucose energy and every base loop that. What are you doing? Alright. Secretary, how, how many times did you hit your head? And when? Alright, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna go over here. Secretary, we need to check out the core blast. Alright, so overnight these uh, cauldrons filled up with rain and um, you know, was, you know, all this water filled up and you know, the Minecraft definitely didn't glitch, give me all the water bottles. Yeah, you'll get these water bottles from doing, well, that was weird. You get these water bottles from uh, these cauldrons filling up overnight from raining. Guess what this is? The rain is like the sunlight and these are like chloroplasts and chlorophyll, you know, it collects sunlight, turns it into energy. You know, you just put this in the vacuoles and bam, we got tons of water, tons of food for the cell. It's great. Also, chloroplasts are only for plants, uh, uh, just like the cell wall. Alright, let's check back over here where um, this person is in survival mode. And dying of lava and running around in panic. Or, or asleep, the, you know, daydreaming. Uh, yeah, this is what happens when you don't build a good base by taking the example from the cell, the beautiful cell. In conclusion, kids, what we've learned today is that if you don't listen to your science teacher, you will be running around in panic and burning in lava. Um, alright, I hope you enjoyed and learned about cells, and hopefully my secretary will stop placing heads. Um, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to, uh, Punch McDouglas' channel, my dad. Thank you to Crystal, my stepmom, for joining in. And she just learned the controls, so her, her character doesn't exactly know how to move her body correctly. It's just, just like, ugh. So, yeah. Um, she's doing pretty good. Thank you all. All right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Why, why, is, why is there a head? Did you just kill someone?